what is up guys Jerry here with another video and um, today I just got to the shop and today what we're gonna try to do is attempt to finally take this motor out yeah so right now let me open the shop real quick and we're gonna try to attempt it it's pretty late it's like 8 o'clock at night but you know the grind don't stop <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes, let's try it, let's try to do this guys, damn it's hot in here, well, let me try to open this, this gate, a door, whatever it's called, and I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna try to turn the fan on, there you go, super hot in this bitch, right. okay guys, so, turn the fan on, uh, open the door, now, let's get started with the motor, um, we got a little bit, a few little hoses to connect now left, and now it's then after that we gotta put this off so we can see the guys in there. So and then we go into the motor mount. Should be good. So let's try to do that real quick. And yeah. Okay, guys. So I didn't get to show you guys this um, the last video, but I did see it the last time I came. I just forgot to record it. Uh, but <laughs> the reason this motor was um, was not running and I didn't find out until I took the exhaust manifold off because the exhaust manifold was covering it but uh, the reason <laughs> it's funny because the reason it wasn't running was because I guess it has a hole in the block like obviously it's not going to run if it has a hole in the block but I couldn't see it until I took the exhaust manifold off so that makes way more sense so now actually have a reason of taking this motor out okay guys so um i disconnected most of everything well everything completely everything except this wire because i'm trying to drop it to see how to disconnect it. i'm not really sure because i can't really see there's a plastic piece on top so i'm gonna just wait till i drop it a little bit and try to see if i can take that off if it comes out the firewall so but everything else in the back is disconnected and now i'm doing these I already am talking, so it's not this easy. Okay, guys, so we took that part off and disconnected the wire from the back. Everything should be loose, only that wire, like I said before. Uh, everything should be loose, ready to drop the motor. So what I'm going to do is uh, try to put the jack underneath as a support, so I can take off the motor mount and then drop it slowly. And if, he, and if it doesn't come out from there, I might have to drag it out. I don't know somehow, but we'll figure it out, guys. You know, everything everything's possible, so we'll figure it out. I've taken all the motor mount bolts off, so that should be off. These should be off right there. You see that? Uh, back one I had to take off through the main bolt because this one wouldn't come off. These two did. This one right here and this one. So those two came off and then this one didn't want to come off, so I had to take it off the main bolt too. And then those, those two actually came off really good. So now what I'm going to try to do is lower it. I see that the motor already shifted a little bit when I took that last screw off. So I'm going to try to lower it a little bit and um, see if it goes down. I'm scared that it might actually go down like this instead of straight because of those, those two that didn't come out all the way. But we'll see. I don't know. It depends. Quick update guys. Um, so. When I dropped the motor, since I already took all the motor mounts off and everything, it's like literally on the deck right now. Um, so when, I drop, when I'm dropping the motor, the tranny is actually hidden on this bar. So I'm just gonna take this off. It got two bolts right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, I got two bolts. And it has a bolt right up front and there. I already got two going out though, right here. 
and um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and I'm gonna see if I can drop the motor some more so I can take it out today. Okay guys, so finally got the motor out. After so much struggling, I mean we made a little bit of a mess, but we'll clean that up in a bit. Um, but we got the motor out. So the hard part is actually easy part. The, the harder part is gonna be putting the motor in. The K20 that I'm gonna put in. But at least we got the tranny and the motor out. We got some tranny fluid on the floor from where it tipped over. So we'll get that cleaned up before I leave. And um, yeah, so I guess we're done here for today. So um, just make sure you give this uh, this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. Um, if you guys want to see uh, more about this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a K20 A2 swap in it, the Type S RSX motor uh, with the 5 speed uh, from the base RSX. And yeah, but I just now got the the old motor out. I think this is like a D15 B sound. I'll show you. Give me a minute. Like a, a D, D15 B2. Yeah, so I moved it from here to there. I was going to stay right there for now until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. I might just jump in or something and get a little bit of cash out of it. And um, yeah, so that's bad. And then something good is going to happen with that. So. Stay tuned guys. Uh, next video I'm going to be making, it's uh, cleaning up the engine bay, taking all this fuel stuff out. Um, I'm going to probably run it directly because the K20 uh, doesn't really need all this stuff. Uh, I want to keep everything clean. I'm probably going to take the windshield, fill it away. Um, and then I want to clean the engine bay up because it's like super dirty and stuff. If I want to build this car, I want to build it right. Um, I don't want to build it like, uh, like taking shortcuts because sometimes taking shortcuts uh, have consequences and I just want to build this car right so it lasts and um, yeah I mean it's gonna cost money and time but I know at the end it's gonna be worth it and it's gonna look so much better than any other thing that any other CRX that's like I mean you could do a K20 swap in it but if you do it right it, it will look clean but if you just put it in it won't it would just like look crappy and stuff like I'm this is like the project build that is gonna be like um how do I explain it it's a budget build but it's a nice budget build it's not gonna be like one of those crappy uh hondas that are, that are, are all over the place you know so yeah um make sure you give this video a thumbs up uh subscribe to the channel and just wait for more content because it's just gonna get better and better you know